but for all the fans who have, we've all been trying to do our best today's this introduction impersonation since she been gone. <laughs> but yeah, where you been at, bro? For the people who don't know, because obviously, where you, where you been at, bro? Where you been at? But I have to go get them people my time. I have to go get them people their time, man. I had to uh, sit down for a probation violation. And so, you know, it, it looked like a from, wilderness. From seven years ago. From seven years ago, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I finally had to get that done with. Uh, my driver's license had come up for expiration on my birthday, which is December the 26th. So, October, when I turned myself in, would have been the last little window, little time frame for me to do my time and then be out to be able to renew my license, but more importantly, get my life back and, uh, you know, be able to be in my kids' lives and not be taken away and be able to, you know, just go all out with life, you know, travel, you know, meet friends, you know, just, you know, go places with my girls, you know, just, you know, just got to feel free and not have that cloud over you no more. So I had to get it done, man. I, I had to get it done. Um, I won't lie. You know, jail has totally changed me. Even though I was a short timer, you know what I'm saying? It's just, you know, having to adapt to that lifestyle. And then now coming back out being free, you know what I'm saying? I never knew that it was a such thing as, you know, having to readapt. So I'm kind of going through that right now which is no biggie, you know what I'm saying? I'll get back into the swing of things pretty soon. You know, so I'm just taking it slow, man, not uh, not trying to overwhelm myself. Um, but the one thing I do want to say, you know, anybody out there who's uh, who's struggling, knowing that it's something that they need to take care of to, you know, kind of get their life back on the path, you know, somewhat of a path to where, you know, you get to decide the decisions in your life, you know, you get to grab your life by the balls. And not be pushed around. If it's Whoa. That you, yeah. Pause. Big pauses. But hey, if it's something that you need to get done, man, you need to get that shit done. Like, don't be a pussy. Don't be a bitch. Don't be a bitch. Just, you know, get it done. And that's what mm. I had to do. You know, it looked like a wilderness, but once you go into the wilderness and you you can see the Lord taking care of you, you can see his hand on you, you know, it's not gonna it's not gonna look like a wilderness to you. You know, it's going to look like a place of worship, you know, things of that nature. So the Lord is going to take care of you. You just got to, you know what I'm saying, you got to up or shut up. Yeah, man, I look, uh, I was looking at your situation when you was, when you was behind the wall in jail and kind of just, once you, obviously we had been talking and damn, bro, I got to do this, got to do this on the so forth. You just feeling in your spirit, you know, talking to God, like, all right, like, let's get this out the way. Like, you, to get to where you're trying to get to, this is the process that you got to go through to have everything and so on and so forth. And I kind of just looked at it as, you know, unfortunately, but at the same time, having to just do what you got to do, you got to go through the fire, right? And so when we talk about fire, I just think about uh, t rack Meshach and Abednego, right. you know, they had to go through the fire, but nonetheless, God was with them in that fire, which, you know, they came out like, oh, it's go time, you know what I'm saying? So, like you said, those people out there, you got to do what you got to do. Whatever fire you may have to feel, be fearful of going through, and God, God, God will stand in that fire with you to see through it, that you come out, you know, unscathed. 